I have looking for this kind of module that I found on AliExpress. And what is it? It's a 4 amperes and 5 amperes or 25 watts or 35 watts adjustable electronic load tester, LED digital USB voltmeter amp ammeter battery capacity power supply detector monitor. And it's an electronic load you can choose 4 amperes, 25 watts or 5 amperes, 35 watts. Ooh. And the price starts from 2 US dollars and it's going to 10 US dollars, depends on where you are living and what model you will choose. And of course, I ordered it 5 amperes, 35 watts. I waited and I got it. Oh, bubbles. Ah, no. Why? Why? FX35, 5 amperes, 35 watts. As I order it, bubbles inside. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, 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 nice. Finally, bubbles. This is not important. Okay, okay. It's pretty awesome looking electronic load, which can be for testing capacity for dummy load to see how many amperes, watts. Also have a buzzer. Why is that? To alarm something. Also it have a fan. Da -da -da. Let's take a look at 360 degrees. The sound maybe is annoying that produces this solar turntable, but take a look at this module. You can see 360 degrees from every side, which is nice, and that's why I'm doing. And take a look what kind of features have this module. Support reverse connection protection, support over voltage protection, over current protection, over voltage protection, over temperature protection and over power protection. This thing got everything. Support power down memory function, support alarm function, beautiful. Discharging time, discharging, discharge capacity, temperature. Model F FX35, this, that model. Work voltage 5 volts, I'm gonna tell you why. Load load voltage from 1.5 volts to 25 volts and maximum 35 watts. Working voltage of this module is 200 milliampers. Current and voltage accuracy 1%. You can set and you can adjust the over voltage protection, over current protection, over power, over voltage, over temperature. Everything can be adjusted. The fan speed when the temperature is temperature is reached can go to 6000 rpms work temperature from minus 40 to 85 degrees all right and the size of this module is 114 millimeters by 43 by 27 millimeters and yes i need to remove the protector because it's scratch it and take a look beautiful and let me tell you some things this usb male usb is dc input also this connector is for dc input or for connecting the load we have the fan for cooling the the heatsink and right here we have tip 122 which is, what is this? Is this the MOSFET or it's a transistor? Let me know in the comments. We have the micro USB connector right here on the side for powering the module and operating. But on these connectors, we're gonna connect the electronic load. This blue thing called multi-turn potentiometer is for adjusting the current. We have a buzzer for alarming and we have four 
push buttons which is on, set, select, increasing and decreasing. Beautiful, very nice. I think it's time for testing. As I told you, this thing works on 5 volts using micro USB. Oh, the fan spin and stop. And right now on the LCD display we show, we see 001 volt. It's set on 1.8 amperes. You can adjust that with this multi-turn potentiometer. Take a look. What will happen if I, if I hit on? What does it mean? LVP. And it's beeping. It's because it doesn't have a load, maybe. Everything is described with all the alarms. And this thing, when it's pressed and it shows LVP, meaning that it's detecting uh, under voltage protection. Here it says it's because it's below 1.5 volts. Nice. I will show you all the functions that this module have and the first one is with holding the select button I'm gonna hold it and right now we see the temperature of the heat sink the heat, the heat sink will absorb the heat produced by, by this Darlington uh, transistor that is acting like an electronic load as I told you we have four, four buttons increasing, decreasing, select and on set when you hold on set button you go to the menu and the first function is under voltage protection because it's set on 1.5 volts and it's detecting 0 volts that's why it's beeping the, the signal we have over voltage protec protection is set on 25.5 volts over current protection 5.1 ampere that is the maximum of this module we have over power protection it says 30 watts I set it to 30 watts but the maximum is 35 watts okay we have over over temperature protection and it's set on 80 degrees and if if it's go above 80 degrees the module will shut down beautiful I don't know what is this also over amper protection off and correct turn you can these things where it says correct voltage you can correct and adjust the the voltage that is shown on this LCD display also for the amperes and for the capacity beautiful and now when I show you everything and all functions time for real testing let's put some input now let's say that we want to test this battery pack that have 12 volts and I'm gonna connect the battery on, on the terminal on this green ter terminal positive to positive negative to negative You can see that the voltage of the battery pack is 11.5 volts and the current is set on 1.1 ampere and take a look what will happen when I hit on it's discharging the battery pack with 1.1 ampere and hitting select you can monitor the watts and the ampere hours the time and back to the amperes. In meanwhile, you can adjust the current with the multi-turn potentiometer. Let's take a look. Let's go to two amperes. Twenty watts. The maximum is thirty-five watts. Remember that. The time. And when I hold the select. I can monitor the temperature of the heat sink and it's going up 38, 39. Alright, it's working pretty good. Holding again. 
turning off and the fan will continue to spin ok and now the heatsink is cooled beautiful and let's say I, I want to change the over power protection and I'm holding the on set this is under voltage over voltage protection over current protection over power protection is set on 30 watts and I will set it on how much let's say 20 watts beautiful okay and with holding it will remember that and let's try again hitting and right now is pulling how much 16 watts increasing the current to how much 1.7 come on going up going up and take a look over power protection beautiful and it will continue to beep until you hit set nice let's say I want to test this radio with power bank and I'm gonna plug in the USB connector to the power bank and hit start and we are pulling 6 watts I'm gonna increase the amperes the voltage remains 4.95 which is great and take a look 2 amperes or that is come on 10 watts so this power bank is delivering 2 amperes of current and 10 watts nice beautiful that means that this power bank is good power off by the way the link for this module will be in description below so you can check it as I said the price is from 2 US dollars and is going to 10 US dollars depend on which model you will choose this one is 35 watts also have 25 watts with 4 and 5 amperes and so far this thing is good and I like it it's a beautiful mini electronic load that you can adjust the current you can adjust the, the voltage also a lot of functions can be adjusted like uh, over power protection over current protection over voltage protection under voltage whatever you want okay that was all for today video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya